here, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to uh, paint um, a hornbill. Um, it's going to be a fantasy hornbill. Um, usually I try to um, stick, you know, keep the form of an animal, in this case a bird. Um, but I change uh, the colors and patterns a lot. But also in this, this time around I'm going to try um, to paint in a little bit of a different way. I uh, got inspired, I flipped through some old uh, pictures of artwork I did a few, you know, maybe it's two, three years ago now, three years maybe ago. And um, this hornbill, and I decided I wanted to try it again. And the thing here is um, I have actually, I've actually cut the hornbill out of watercolor paper and then when, when the hornbill is cut out I have painted it, I've actually added the, the wing on top like another uh, piece of watercolor glued on top. You're gonna see all this when I show you. Um, and um, I put I put this black. It's a black colored paper that that I that I bought, and I put it behind. And I thought it was a good effect with that, you know, especially the white part of the body, you know, towards the the black background. And also, um, you can see the edges around. They're a little bit like messy, just like you know. A little bit of paint, uh, scribbles, and, and things. And um, I, I was inspired by you know when when I'm do, when I'm doing a painting, I I have the masking tape around uh, to sort of uh, attach the picture to uh, attach the paper to uh, the surface. And also when I take off the masking tape, I, I will get this white nice frame but I was looking at the masking tape and I saw all this you know messy paint and I had tried I tried my pen different types of pens I've been trying them out there and uh, there were some lines and scribbled and, and I just got it I just got inspired by it and I thought maybe I should just keep a, something like that around around the, the bird with the black background and, and, and keep that kind of like messy edge. <laughs> it was just something I, I came up with. And uh, so I'm gonna replicate all this now. And um, but I'm, I'm gonna do, this will actually be a little bit smaller size. Uh, and of course, it's never gonna be the same. Um, even if I try to do something very similar, it's still, you know, a different painting, you know, it's a little bit different color choices and, and stuff like that. And I might even keep going and um, do more of this in different sizes. It's kind of fun. I like hornbills. Oh, I love hornbills. We have the red hornbill. Um, I see it every day. Sometimes I see the grey hornbills, they tend to, the, the red hornbill, they tend, tend to be on the ground a lot, eating these um, oil palm nuts that are falling down from my oil palms. <laughs> and uh, sometimes I see grey hornbill, usually they, they sit very high up in the trees, but I, I hear them because they make this specific sound. And they sort of uh, push put their beaks up into the sky when they make their sound. <laughs> and once in a while, maybe just once a season, actually, I see the pied hornbill. And oh my god, this is a very spectacular bird with this big yellow beak and um, well uh, in this case um, this hornbill would be I don't know, more like a red hornbill type of 
Mon bel. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, you're gonna follow along oh, uh, the steps. This is not so much a tutorial as it is just a inspirational, um, inspirational little uh, video for you. You can see how I, I do my, my painting sometimes. You know, sometimes I do uh, the technique of negative painting. This is usually what I, what I teach my students um, in the beginning something that they can do that is very very fun it's a very nice method to use first we fill the watercolor paper with paint and a lot of pattern and then after that we start to start to uh, create the bird and uh, this time around it's a little bit different so you can see that I do use other techniques than negative paint uh, so I hope you're gonna like this one. So just sit back and enjoy. All right
I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to my channel.